In the studio with me this morning is Superintendent Ed Fletcher with Monmouth Roseville School District. Good morning. Good morning. That is not a one flake Fletcher. No, we're out of we're out of one forecast. flake Fletcher uh, land right now. Yeah. We're just that this that roller coaster up and down towards summer. So. I know, but you know what I don't like about it, and it's the only thing I don't like, is our baseball and softball and track and all these kids trying to you know get used to that seventy one degree weather and then forty three. No. Yeah, you know. So today, what home opener for? Uh, Baseball and softball. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Beautiful. They're going to be able to play. Next week, they're going to be freezing. I know. Uh, and that's, that is hard. It's hard to get into the flow and into the swing of things. You know, I don't, I don't know when Illinois, if Illinois will ever say, oh, well, let's just do those sports in the summer, you know, like Iowa does. But, you know, I mean, you know, at the high school level. But we'll see. I mean, yeah, it's, it's bad. I mean, and then some years you get all your games in and some years you get like 10 of your games in. Sure. So it's just the up and, you know, the ebb and flow of spring in Illinois. But I am excited for our spring sports. Oh, it's super, it's, it's exciting time for the kids. They're getting out. Yeah. I mean, you can just see, you know, even on days when, you know, I, I noticed some kids, well, when it warms up, they're wearing shorts. All right, fine. But then the next day it's cold and they're still wearing shorts. You're like, okay, <laughs> come on. They're they, fighting it. Yeah. They really want, they want the warm weather. So Yeah. They don't wear coats, do they? Some do. I mean, some, yeah, I mean, some do. Some just decide they don't do it and maybe they're young enough that they can handle it i can't handle it so maybe when i was young i did the same thing maybe i just just don't remember all right well last night was your school board meeting how'd it go it went well um a lot of you know not a a lot of stuff but uh mr uh uh, ewing had a teacher miss minette at our high at the high school given a presentation about our art program and the town and country art show awards and uh we have some students, uh, Kyler Bennett, Camden Bennett, and Rowan Love, uh, do some awesome, awesome projects and um, won some awards at that the show. Um, and she just talked about, you know, the different things that she, they, uh, she has kids doing in the art program, in the art class. And it's just the, the ability of kids to draw, to utilize their... Um, their abilities. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, when you look at what they do, I mean, the thought, the process that goes into it, my mind doesn't work that way. You know, I struggle to get a stick figure, you know, but then you look at what they do and you're just like, holy moly. Um, Mr. Sikorsky uh, gave a presentation as well, uh, talking about the art program and the ag program at the uh, junior high and the different activities that they do. I mean, you know, you, you think of ag, um, and you think of a of an ag program and, and maybe, you know, taking a combine. You know, I had someone tell me that from a combine and a piece of equipment, there could be up to 120 jobs tied into that piece of equipment. And I think that's incredible. And, you know, what Mr. Crum and Miss Houston does do down there with the kids in those programs, it's incredible. And, you know, Mr. Sikorsky talked about, you know, Smithfield Food coming in and they bring some of the, uh, the, the insides of animals and let the kids touch them and let the kids, you know, get their hands and just so they can see, you know, it's, you know, it's a, there's jobs that are tied to this and there are careers and, you know, trying to get kids to understand that not everyone is going to go to college. Not everyone has to go to college is a important piece of what we do. Okay, good. Um, in my report to the board, you know, I talked to them. Well, we had Sarah Mendez, who was the ISBE Bilingual Teacher of the Year, the 2024. Um, she's kind of popular now. She's done interviews on WQAD, Tri-States Public Radio, Monmouth College. Uh, you know, so they had an, a ceremony last weekend, and she was interviewed um, to, to find out if she – to uh, I guess they're trying to decide who the Illinois teacher of the year is. So she did some interviews for that. So we're, we're fingers crossed. We hope she wins. Um, the high school did a blood drive recently. Um, very cool to see kids get involved with civic projects. Uh, they had uh, 31 units of blood, uh, you know, at that, you know, uh, collected. So that was really cool. Um, it's kind of, I just feel like I'm repeating myself every year now, but our, the high school is in first place in the uh, overall in the uh, solo and ensemble um, competition at the IHSA level. So they have the organizational contest coming up. It's on April 13th. Um, but right now we're in first place. So, um, you know, it's, that's really cool. You know, the fine arts are very strong here in Monmouth Roadsville. Uh, Mr. Ferry, uh, Miss Hallen, Mr. Martinez, they do a great job. You know, uh, Mr. Silber, the company, I mean, they do such a great job with working with kids and, you know, for, for some kids who, and maybe they do play sports, but if they don't, that's their, that's their state title. I mean, mm-hmm. that's, that's really cool. Um, 
at Harding. Um, they did a American Heart Association Kids uh, Heart Challenge, and they threw it donations, and they do PE activities uh, focused on heart health and staying active. And the top money raisers were th uh, third graders, uh, Riker Brown and Olivia Hull. So congratulations to them. You know, they went out and um, fundraised for, for such a good cause, you know, the American Heart Association. And, you know, not to be outdone at the high school, they had the uh, – we recently had the Polar Plunge, and Team Titan Nation raised over $6,000 for the Special Olympics. So. Man. That I mean, is good. Yeah. So the, our team won the cool school challenge for the most run, money raised by a school. We took second place overall for all the teams entered. Um, you know, it's really cool to see. I mean, I know school, you talk about academics and you talk about, you know, standardized tests and so on and so forth. But to show kids a path moving forward with regards to how to get involved in community activities, um, I think that's 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 really cool that we do that. Uh, and, and, and the kids are willing participants. And it's just you know, they need to understand how important, you know, the impact that they make to a community. Yes. And uh, that's, that's been phenomenal. $6,000 on that polar plunge. Yeah. The, big team effort. Oh, very, very big team effort. And um, we, the board did approve one, uh, one, one last project for the summer. We're going to do some drainage work at central um, and we're going to do some uh, sidewalk slash drainage work at the high school. So That'll be done for our slate of projects this summer with the bathroom remodeling going on at the high school and some other stuff. So, you know, over the last few summers, there's been lots of, uh, lots of excitement, you know, um, lots of changes, you know, throughout the district and just, you know, progress, you know, moving forward. That's the, you know, just, just you know, hard to believe this is year 13 for me, um, you know, but it's every year, you know, we, we, we have a plan and the board is, you know, expects a plan facilities wise and money wise and, Every year we just, you know, get, you know, mark something else off the list. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're not one of the districts that can just do it all at once. And so, but we've done it over time. So I'm very proud of the facilities and how they look. And uh, what is our last day of school at this moment? Oh, I knew you'd ask me that. I should have written it down. If you bear with me for sure. a second here. Because um, we, we I, I can't remember all the snow days and. May 28th. May, tw so right after. Yeah, so that would be the, la that would be the Teacher Institute Day. And the 24th would be the last day of students. So it would be the 24th. Okay. Yeah. Unless, unless something crazy happens with the weather. Yeah. That's kind of where we're, that's kind of where we'll be landing at. Okay. What's coming up in the month of April? Well, I mean, spring sports are in full, full swing. We have the uh, musical coming up this weekend. Uh, so if anyone's, yes. yeah. So if anyone is, wants to come see it, uh, you know, shameless plug on my part. My son Sawyer's in it, so my my, my family. You know, my we'll have a whole house full of kids are all back home from college to go watch the play. Yeah, uh, at least one night. And my wife and I, either, either one of us, will be in attendance all the nights. And so it's it's if you haven't seen it, go see the kids participate because it's incredible with what they do. It's yeah. just absolutely amazing to what they do, memorizing the lines, um, all while taking having you know jobs outside of school. Uh, participating in this type of stuff. They are very busy kids. Okay. Yeah, they've been in this week, uh, the Drama Club, to talk about the upcoming musical Mattress. So yes. excited about it. Yes. Yeah, so if anyone wants to come out, come see a great show. Okay, wonderful. Ed, thank you so much for the updates. Oh, thank you for having me. Have a great week. Thank you.